Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you and reviewing the new Enrapture Totem Styler and this is the tool itself. Um, it's a really versatile tool, it's um, not something that I've seen on the market, I've had a chance to use before in that it has three separate heat setting for three areas on the barrel and it can be used as a wand or as a normal iron with a clip. So you can create lots of different styles. I've been having a really good play with this over the last couple of weeks and um, created this style, which as you can see, the curl ranges from being quite flat at the top to loose wave in the middle around here to a much tighter traditional curl at the end. So if you want to see how I created this style and learn more about the Enrapture Totem Styler, then carry on watching. I've just plugged in my totem styler and as you can see it's got a little rack here so you can rest it without fear of burning your table. So mine's just heating up at the moment. Um, it's got a dial here so you can switch it off and then slide it for on. And then for the different sections you can see they're marked on the barrel and here. I've put mine on one, two and then three. The coolest here in the middle will be medium heat and at the end it will be a higher heat. I'm just waiting that for heat up for a few seconds. Um, before styling I washed my hair using Lizelle shampoo and conditioner and then I added a little bit of Moroccan oil just to the ends to make sure they're really nice and soft. Um, I also used a um, heat protector from Aussie and followed up with Osmo's blow dry potion which smells absolutely delicious. It's really soft and thin so you can run it through your hair without uh, feeling like you've got too much product on it. And when you blow dry your hair or style your hair, it really helps to add extra body as, as well as hold without feeling sticky. Um, so then I just let my hair air dry and as you can see, it's pretty curly anyway. So to make sure that I get really nice smooth waves, I'm, I'm going to just brush it through and if you have big kind of coarse curly hair I really highly recommend the tangle teaser so I'm just going to brush my hair through and then we'll get started. So after brushing my hair through I've just sectioned off half the top half and left the rest down so we have more workable smaller sections to work with and the totem style is now all heated up um, as you can see it has a little clip here so you could use um, this with a clip on the ends and then wind it up um, but I'm actually going to use it as a wand because I find it simpler and um, for me it works just as well. I don't want to create a really tight curl, I want to just create waves so just using it as a wand is fine. Now I'm going to try and get as close as possible to the roots and then get the hair evenly around the barrel. So the bottom is the hottest and the top has the least heat. So what we should get is a really loose, voluminous curl at the top, going down to a tighter curl. Um, of course when you first curl it, it's still going to look pretty curly, but these are going to fall out and um, this should give you a style with lots of volume and some definition at the bottom of the hair. You also want to make sure that the hair is spread evenly. Obviously if you put all your hair at the top, um, you're only going to get the least amount of heat at the top, so your curls will be really loose. This is why I think this wand is also really good for long hair, because it is quite long, and though my hair, as you can see, goes all the way down here, um, I can use this for curling quite easily without running out of space, whereas some um, curling irons I find I have to kind of double wrap the hair over so it could fit in the barrel. At the same time, you don't want to put too much hair at the bottom either because then you'll get the tight curl in the majority of your hair. So just have a little play around with it and um, see what suits you. As usual, at the front, I'm wrapping my hair back. And then after I've done the first two or three, I start alternating by wrapping some sections going forward. 
The only thing I don't like about this um, clip styler is that if you angle it, like I have just done by mistake with a clip going towards your head, then you can't really get as close to the roots of your hair. So just be careful, rather than angling it in like I have, to angle it out so you could get right in there. So I'm just going to carry on alternating. So I've just wrapped it forward, now I'm going to wrap it back. And as I've put the clip facing outwards, it's not really hindering, getting closer to the root. So I'm just going to carry on and do that with the rest of the bottom section and come back and show you what it looks like. So now that my hair is done, I'll just take it down and show you what it looks like. As you can see, the curls at the bottom are much more defined and then it goes down. So it's, what I like to do is just shake it up. I already have a little bit of hairspray in there, so hopefully the curls won't drop out too much. And rather than brushing it, always good to go in with your fingers and just shake it, get a bit more volume at the roots. And as you can see, there's a lot more movement and texture at the bottom here. So you get a whole load of volume at the bottom as the curls are much tighter and then smooth away through the middle. So your hair still looks really healthy and shiny with a lot of body. This would look amazing if you have fine hair and you find it difficult to make it look really thick and um, get that big hair look that's really popular. Um, I've just set it with the Volume and Body hairspray from Pantene and that's worked really well at holding without making your hair crunchy and it's still very much movable. I can run my fingers through it and it doesn't feel like I have a lot of product in my hair. Of course um, this styler from Enracha um, is so versatile which is what I like about it as it create, can create a great number of looks and um, really easy to use. If you want a more defined curl you can always use the little clip here and um, just have a really good play around with it. It's taken me a couple of weeks to get the hang of it and find curl styles that I really like and this one is probably one of my favourites. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you've had a chance to try out the totem styler yourself, let me know what your favourite combinations are and what you think of it and um, you know ways that you found to use it that work for you. And if you want to see different styles that can be created with this styler, always check out the Enrapture website, which I'll leave a link to below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're well, and I shall see you all soon with more makeup, hair tutorials, reviews, and all of that good stuff.